This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Cool. It's Principal! The only girl that is actually semi-normal. What? What? What the heck are you even trying to say here, Makina? Uh, what? Toilet paper is like the softest thing in the world. What are you talking about? I, you know what? I don't even want to know. Apparently, nobody else in this game seems to think that that was a weird sentence to say. Okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> Sachi should not Sachi should not be everyone's maid. What do you mean not anymore? I've been here for six months. <laughs> All right, see y'all later. Uh, coincidentally, I have a coupon for a free meal at Culver's that expires today. I, I just, I gotta go right now. <laughs> I did, hey, since it's us, I did preface this by saying the game was rated M and that it's not normally my style of game. The reason that I play it is because when it gets good, it gets really good with its storytelling. Mainly, every single route we've done so far has had, like, flashbacks to the girls' lives before they came here, and those were all really, really good. Very well written. But yeah, a lot of this humor is very cringe-worthy. You know it's true, Sachi. Don't give me that judgmental look. What? It you, you guys don't believe that I have the Culver's gift card? How dare you? Excuse me. It is called Culver's, and it's a fine establishment. Guys, it's just a coincidence that it keeps happening. <laughs> Michiru, why? Okay, Sachi, now that is literally the pot calling the kettle black. Michiru is literally, well, she's either the least dirty or the second least dirty person. Yumiko might be the least dirty. I can't believe they don't believe that I have a Culver's gift card. What? <laughs> Who do you think I'm going to chase after? You? No way. <laughs> he would just stare at you, judging you. I never lie. I just tell parts of the truth. Wow. 
考えるときは少しずつ量を調整して考えないとオーバーヒートしてしまいます人の脳みそを安物の工作機械みたいに言うんじゃないわよまあでも気になりだしたら他のこと手につかないわよねでもそれを知る手段もないわけだし Oh look, they're going to stalk me What a surprise だったら調査するしかないのよさ調査 You really don't have to do that やるのよそんなの本人に聞くのが無理なんだったら情報を集めて推測するしかないのよさつうわけであんまね鍵貸していやあんた有事の部屋を物色するつもりあ、uh, あ、そうだね。さすがにそれはやばいんじゃないのいいじゃんお兄ちゃんのことだからやばっちい理由だったら部屋に証拠とか残さないだろうし。Don't, I hope they don't find my、uh, Magnum 380. Oh, Yuji's the kind of guy who would put like eight locks on his door, like Sid from Toy Story. Oh boy. It's the comedy music playing. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying Yuji would put the locks on his door. Hmm, I wonder where we're gonna look. Probably in the refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, so stop being weird. Wait, the, wait, hang on. The centerfold just looks like Yumiko, or the centerfold is Yumiko? Both would be weird. I hope it's a fake memo book. Pay dirt? Oh, I really, I really hope that was a fake memo book. And he's just like, I knew that they would do this. Yuji no techo ni kaita at the koto, Zenbu makina ga snoba de kyok ste, PC de uchi no ista no ga kore te wake ne? What? Oh, yeah, that's right. Makina does remember stuff really well. Dakarate, oboera re re makicha ma sugoi desu. Otskare sama. Also, this is a massive invasion of privacy that you are not allowed to do. If you drink my sprite, I'm gonna be mad. Makina is absolutely the type of person who would drink all of your Sprite if she went into your room. Wait, 
休日ゆえに通りに一般人多数。Sprout。I love Sprout。これがどうかした問題はそこから先なんです。天音さん。その後よ。続きえっと。Uh oh. Why are we getting the sad music now? 佐々木由美子の動向は14時28分、寮の自室を出る。入り口付近で問答の後、外出。15時53分、帰宅。まっすぐに2階へと登り、自室へ入る。Oh, they're hearing about how creepy we are with our stalking of Yumiko. で、これ、まさかその。そのまさかなのよさ。はい、手帳に書かれていたのは風見さんが榊さんの追跡をしたその記録だったんですと,とりあえず続き読むわね7月19日20時12分寮の自室より外出人目につかないように裏道を通りコンビニへ向かう雑誌コーナーの年齢制限のある場所へ赴くも4分強立ち尽くした後にため息を一つつき安っぽいプリンを一つ購入してきたく<笑> This is very detailed Have I ever typed something but stupid typo always correct it? Ah! As a matter of fact, just yesterday I typed my address for、uh, somebody and it auto corrected to a different address that wasn't mine So I do have that. That's why I always turn autocorrect off. Because it, it never helps me. <laughs> How did, that's a lot to tell just from her facial expressions. <laughs> yeah, this definitely sounds creepy when you read it out loud. I mean, we know that he's doing this because he's being asked to bodyguard her and he's taking extensive notes in case something happens to her. But they don't know that, so they just think we're massively creeping on her. How many of these are we going to get? Like, we get the point. So, I'm going to get the point. Okay, yeah, that's getting, that's getting very creepy. Amine looks more jealous than anything. Guys, this is very simple. It's all for a science experiment that I'm doing. I mean, a psychology experiment. She doesn't know about it, so don't tell her. It'll skew the results. Yeah, that actually is kind of stalking, yes. Oh dear! Uh oh. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> Michiru, what a squealer! <laughs> I really hope Yuji's like, oh, you did, did you? Like, he, he's here as well. Um, if Yumiko is here, then Yuji has to be close by. Because he stalks her. She's like, okay, the truth is we both had Culver's gift cards, okay? 
誰もいないって思ってた時まで Now we'll never be her, her boyfriend. Uh oh. Oh, oh, that's not a face that you want to be on the receiving end of. Oh dear. <laughs> I mean, you know, he kind of deserves it, but this does not justify homicide. Guys, it, there's, I can explain this. It, it's very simple. It's psychological experiments. You can ask Principal. She put me up to it. I mean, no, don't actually go to her. You were the one who's like, What are you doing with my key? Well, I am on the Yumiko route. What I want to know is why we weren't put in charge of being Yumiko's bodyguard in the other two routes that we played. Nothing that we did should have changed that timeline that he'd be like, ah, I. Yumiko's becoming a problem. We need her to be the new heir to the company, and uh, Yuji got to be the bodyguard. <laughs> She's like, sorry, I can't be the bodyguard. I'm Danny Mitru. It's like, understandable. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems not quite accurate. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely just came out and told me that he wasn't interested in me at all. <laughs> well, that's rude. Look at this! They're just like, oh no, we caused this incident. Well, we won't do anything, we'll just eat popcorn and watch it unfold. Bursting onto the rooftop, Sakaki strides up to me with a look of pure fury on her face, then hurls a bundle of paper in my general direction. Putting that aside for the moment, can you retract that blade before we talk? And in her left hand, the girl's holding her fully extended box cutter. Her knuckles are white. Even from a few meters away, I can see her hands trembling. Who did this? Makina? Sachi? Yes, Yuji, why were you following her around like some kind of stalker? I did stow the documents from JB about Sakaki's personal data in a side a securely locked drawer. There's not much risk they found those. But my notes on Sakaki's movements didn't contain anything problematic from a professional perspective, so I wasn't nearly as careful with them. Obviously a serious mistake. I'll have to punish the trespassers later, but at the moment there's a more immediate problem to deal with. It's pretty simple. I was asked to guard you. That's all. The rage on Sakaki's face instantly changes to utter confusion. Not waiting for her to process the remark, I continue my explanation. Your father, Sakaki Michiaki, contacted my employer. After determining that your personal safety was at risk, they made arrangements for your protection. Also, Culver's coupon. I've been assigned to the job, so knowing where you are at all times is my responsibility. I'll apologize if you found it disturbing. Sakaki's sharp glare falters. Her eyes drop to the ground at her feet. Gripping the knife even more firmly than before, she mutters something too quietly for me to hear. Sakaki? Gradually, her voice grows louder until, at last, a few words squeeze their way out of her mouth. Say what? Sakaki's eyes flash up to meet mine once more. 
Well, I don't know. Your your dad was gonna hire some people to try to beat you up, so I think you actually do. <laughs> You're the daughter of the East Bray Beach Group's president. That places you in a dangerous position. If you keep walking around without any security, eventually. Uh, what? I mean, that is kind of bad. Uh, what? Wow. That's not, uh, comforting. I can still see the anger in Sakaki's face, but it's changed. There's a hint of something reckless and indifferent in her expression. Something like resignation. Oh no, does she have low self-esteem as well? Like, literally everybody here except for, uh, maybe Amine, who might have too much self-esteem? The characters in these either have not too much self-esteem or not enough self-esteem. They never have the right amount of self-esteem. With those words, Sakaki turns and leaves the roof. The hell was that about? I can understand that having someone follow you around would be unpleasant. But the reason Sakaki refused my protection doesn't seem to have, be, have much to do with that. This woman talks like she's completely disinterested in her own safety. Of course, I was ordered to protect her, so I'm going to continue doing so. But it's unsettling to hear her talk like that. Left a bad taste in my mouth. The documents I was given on Sakaki Yumiko contained extensive information on her current situation. But there was practically nothing concerning her past or that of the East Beach group. This borderline self-destructive attitude clearly didn't come from nowhere. I just don't have enough information to make sense of it. For now, the only thing that I can do is take care of the job I was assigned. I mean, I'm sure we'll get her backstory eventually, and hopefully it'll be as good as Mishiru and Sachi's. I can't say if this applies to more typical student dormitories, but in this place there isn't that dramatic a difference in atmosphere between school days and vacation days. The residents wear casual clothes instead of school uniforms. That's about it. Days off aren't really that much of an upper, and weekdays aren't that strong of a downer. The energy level around here appears to stay pretty much consistent. Amine's always doing her best dog in heat impression. Yes, unfortunately. Makina's constantly babbling away in dubious Japanese. Sachi never fails to offer perfect service with a superficially polite smile. And Michiru, of course, is an idiot 24-7. Rude! Likewise, this woman's expressions don't change much, no matter what the calendar reads. Gazing at the clouds outside the window, she reaches tentatively towards an umbrella, then hesitates. After a moment, the pattern repeats itself. Uh, no, I mean, no, Michiru kind of is an idiot, but it's still rude to say that. Eventually, she picks up the tote bag sitting at her side, shoots a few cautious glances around the area, and begins to ease open the front door as quietly as possible. Simpsons RS, I'm willing to bet you didn't see either of the two routes I did before this. Michiru literally thought that she could convince Yumiko that she didn't have a cat with her by convincing her that cats don't exist in the world. Yo. <laughs> Sakaki sw twitches like a startled cat. Slowly, stiffly, she turns to face me. Going out, I see. Just so you know, the weather won't turn bad until late tonight. Have a safe trip. <laughs> Despite my considerate, umbrella-related tip, the woman's expression is now one of clear hostility. It's my job, after all. <laughs> Sorry, but whether you think it's necessary doesn't really matter. The objective evaluation was that you're in danger, and more importantly, I have orders from the main... Alright then, time to go, I guess. Oh, don't worry, Sachi. I just, um, my mom's in the hospital. I have to go visit her. It just coincidentally happens to be right next to the bookstore that Yumiko wants to go to. No, no, nothing suspicious happening here. Oh, 
由美子の周りってそんなに危険なこととかあったっけお嬢様だってのはなんとなくは聞いてたけど。Yeah, you, you marry for money, right? さあね、事情が変わったのかもしれないし、その辺は多分ユージも榊さんも教えてくれないだろうし。どこを見守る以外はないって感じでしょうか。そうね、まあ見守ってるうちに。ここで人情沙汰とか起きなきゃいいけど。Why was the screen flashing just then? I don't like that. ミチル様、一人首をひねっていらっしゃいますが、ここで言う人情とは、人の情けのことではなく、刃物で人を傷つけるの意味です。I mean, those two kind of go hand in hand, though. わかってるわよそんなこと思ってなかったわよ<笑>そんな何のことがわかんなかっただけよ<笑><笑> I hope a bear shows up at some point in this game. It would be great. <laughs>